Hey DIYers, I'm Alicia and I'm Holly from Whimsy Box. Welcome to DIY 5 where we count down five of our favorite DIY projects from the week. That's right, five. Uh, tell you what's been going on around our office and share other silly stuff we've been talking about. Cool. All right, uh, Delia Creates made the most adorable citrus wedge coin purse um, from pink and yellow vinyl. I've expanded my love of pineapples to all fruit yes. for the summer, including little citrus wedges. Uh, this one takes a little bit of sewing, but the results are totally adorable. And this jumbo popsicle banner from Oh Happy Day is a fun and inexpensive addition to your next pool party decor. Uh, it's made with foam pool noodles <laughs> that have been cut up and like uh, popsicles. Don't you have a different name for pool noodles? Don't say it. I don't. Oh, it's a similar type of item that they sell in the um, hardware store. Oh, <laughs> don't say it. Okay, I won't say it. But my, it was yes. Um, there's the foam stuff that you put around pipes for plumbing, and plumbers apparently have a, their own little colloquial term for it. That is not appropriate. Enough you can Google them. it if you're curious. Google it. Reminds me of pool noodles, though. It does. It's similar. These pool noodles, they're like bright, you know, the ones the kids play with. Yeah. And they made them into pops, little popsicles and put them on a banner, and they're super perfect and inexpensive and so easy to make for like a quick pool party yeah, decoration. Yeah, such a fun idea. Um, here's a great idea. Wait, this is yours. Here's a great idea. <laughs> I'm all goofed up. Go ahead. For a mini photo album from Camille Styles. Uh, so it's perfect for sharing your favorite photos from a recent trip or event. And I feel like with wedding season in full swing, it's a great way uh, to give the newlyweds a small memento of the pics that you procured, procured on their wedding day. That's a really sweet idea. So it's like an accordion. So it's like little mini. You can put it in like in a little jewelry box. And as they open it up, like out comes all of their pictures. You're like, hint, hint, wedding guests. <laughs> You've been warned. Um, the Pink Samurai made uh, a really cute summer tote. Mine are all totes and bags. I don't know. It's what's on my mind. Um, from Faux Leather. And it has the most adorable scalloped edge at the top. Yeah. Scallops are everywhere. Um, such an up-and-coming trend. I think we're going to see a lot more of. And like Becky said in her post, using leather or faux leather to do the scalloped edge is the perfect material because you don't have to oh, hem it. Fray. Because it won't fray. Yes. So super smart. Awesome. Okay. I figured out my goof up. I forgot about the drawstring travel bags, oh. which is crazy because I'm traveling tomorrow to Alt. Ha! See you there. Um, actually, I guess by the time this airs, I'll be home. So we'll and you have can tell us you all there. about it. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Next week we'll talk about it. Um, but these drawstring travel bags are perfect for keeping your suitcase organized in the summer nice. for road trips and keeping the sand from your sandals off your sundresses. Yes. It's the worst. You throw all your shoes in mm -hmm. with all your clothes and they get all messed up. Um, so Sew DIY has instructions for this super simple sewing project and a printable template you can use to trace the really cute hooray for summer design that she added to the front. Cool. All right, featured influencer this week? This week's featured influencer is Nicole uh, from the blog The Felted Fox, who we've been a fan of for mm -hmm. quite a while. Uh, Nicole is originally from South Africa. She's now living in Southern California, and she describes her design aesthetic as a mashup of Scandinavian minimalism, California modernism, and a little bit of South African mixed in with the bold colors and the I love that materials. description. Yeah, it really just encompasses her. So Nicole teaches DIY workshops in San Diego, which I just learned about. But you can also find lots of inspiration on the felted box with projects like the sexy cage dress that, that was she a made. popular one. I remember that one. Yes, and also another bag. Uh, she recently did a tribal print backpack, which is really cool. And in fact, she like had an old pillow, and she was like, "I love the material, but I just didn't like it as a pillow." So she re she cut it up and made this cool backpack. So uh, we love her knack for reimagining materials to create fresh new looks for your closet and your home. So thanks, Nicole, and we can't wait to see what you have next. Awesome. Uh, you can find the links for all of these projects in the show notes below, um, as well as Nicole's blog, plus one other project, which is what I've been making this week, um, that we'll have up on the site, which is this really cute no-sew tote bag uh, made out of webbing and felt that we have instructions and the supplies if you want to uh, whip up one for yourself yeah, this summer. Yeah, I was checking it out. Super easy, this inexpensive is a, materials. This is a speedy one with fun color combos. So. Yeah. Perfect for your summer road trips. I always have a million tote bags, like more snacks, yeah. more magazines, 
stash it all in there. Especially if you have kids too, because you have all their stuff. Oh yeah, stuff. I haven't even thought about that. Yeah. So. I got enough stuff in my house. I know, right? <laughs> iPad, charger. Every time I get in the car, my husband has like his wallet and I have like three bags. Right. Like, I might need my computer while we're out at the grocery <laughs> store for one hour. <laughs> so, silly stuff, what's going on? The World Cup is going on, but I have to say I know nothing about football. Soccer. I know less than nothing about soccer. But we have um, Mohit works for us, and he's in India. Mm -hmm. And he was like, we were chatting online, and he was like, you guys don't watch soccer? Like, horrified. He was quite surprised that we weren't uh, very into it. And then he said, if we weren't cheering for the USA, what team would we cheer for? And we were all like, India! India. And he was like, no, we're not in it. And we're like, oh. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. But I don't it's know. really exciting for people. And, you know, we you see everybody in their, like, World Cup gear. Like, they're all wearing their, I don't know what they're called, jerseys. I know. Like, under there, I have a friend on Facebook who had it on under her, like, blazer at her corporate office yes. job. And she had a picture that was like, yeah, it's big time. And like the opening ceremony and like it is a huge worldwide thing. And I think it's great. I just The thing about soccer is there's so much running around for so long and so little scoring. Yeah, it's true. But you know, you have to appreciate the athleticism that it takes oh, to I like totally run appreciate up and it. It's exhausting just watching it for me. But um the guys are really hot. <laughs> That's true, they're bonus. There's a reason to watch. Um, but there's a lot of like acting. Like they're all fest Yes, fans, All of my like, guy friends are like, that's the part that annoys me about right. watching it. It's like everyone's like, oh, I was fouled or right. whatever. But anyway, it's part of the game. You know, just like hockey, the fighting. That's for me, that's like a little bit more entertaining. Although personally, as a spectator sport, I totally prefer football. Yes. Um, NFL football. American football. We're, yeah, sorry. American football. We're Chicago Bears fans in my household. So that's about the only sports we really watch regularly on TV. Yeah, but it is exciting. So there's this air of excitement around the World Cup and soccer and all Did you that. see the video, um, or maybe I just saw photos, of the Japanese fans cleaning up the stadium? No. Apparently they, always, nice of them. Apparently they always do this after the game, and I think they lost. Um, but they totally clean up the stadium. You know stadiums are like cups and yeah. popcorn and crap. Yeah, things. they just, I don't know why, I don't know why that's a thing. It's kind of that way in movie theaters too. Like how hard is it to just like carry your trash out with you on right. the way out? Like why is it just this thing where you're like, oh, I'll just leave my crap here. You wouldn't do that anywhere else. But anyway, uh, that happens in stadiums all the time, but not when the Japanese are there. Well, they like show up trash to themselves. Yes, they picked up all the trash. How very nice. This is a very good example. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, that's all I can think of that's going on. Summer is in full swing. It's yeah. wedding season. I just got back from a wedding. It's awesome. DIY weddings are my favorite. The very best. Because people make them their own. Yeah. Which and is really fun. And June whimsy boxes are on their way. Oh, yes. So I think next week we might be safe to reveal it. I'll have to double check. But um, right now, if you're a whimsy box subscriber, you will have already gotten or be about to get uh, your tracking information. Right. So we hope you enjoy your June box. And if you're not a subscriber yet, go to whimsybox.com slash subscription to subscribe. And besides that, we'll see you next week. See ya.